And, uh, firstly, if I may say, um, the comments of the member for Northampton North do have the support across the House, particularly about safety and security for everybody and tackling all forms of racism and hate crimes. Um, however, this government... Conservative government has overseen the demise of town centres across the country, and a key part of this failure to tackle town centre crime, such as street drinking, harassment, littering, um, and after 13 years, its legacy is one of damaging decline and collapsing confidence, and its victims and communities that have paid the price. Antisocial behaviour has a devastating impact on communities and individuals. Over 90% of crimes are going unsolved, meaning that criminals are less than half as likely to be caught now compared to the last Labour government. And shoplifting has reached record levels, driven by organised criminal gangs, with a 25% surge nationally over the past 12 months alone and 1,000 offences a day. And shoplifting is not a victimless crime. Theft from shops has long been a major flashpoint for violence and abuse against shop workers. And far too many shop workers face abuse and violence in our town centres. And the Trade Union Ausdor's latest survey results show that two thirds of its members working in retail are suffering abuse from customers, with far too many experiencing threats and violence. Six in ten of these incidents were triggered by theft from shops, which is clearly the result of a 25% increase in incidents of shoplifting, as shown by the latest ONS statistics. So I just want to put on record my support for Ausdor's important Freedom From Fear campaign to prevent violence, threats and abuse against workers. And Labour supports increasing protections for shop workers and will table amendments to the Criminal Justice Bill to ensure there are tougher sentences for attacks on our shop workers. Everyone should have the right to work in safety and to live free from fear. And in Luton, we're proud of our community and the way Luton's Labour Council and local businesses continue to work together to improve safety in our town centre for everyone. It's good to see the Luton Business Improvement District team working with Luton Council to support the nighttime economy and improve nighttime security by funding additional neighbourhood enforcement and security officers in the town centre to help prevent crime and improve safety for residents and businesses. And this commitment to creating a safe, vibrant and inclusive nightlife for all has seen Luton Town Centre awarded purple flag status again, which I'm pleased to see alongside Luton Council's 2040 Town Centre Master Plan, which will create a safer, cleaner and greener town centre. However, the need for Luton's community to step up to support itself is a consequence of the Conservative Government's 13 years of failure. 13 years of cuts to our local services, of cuts to youth services, cuts to bus services, 13 years of rising poverty, pushing people away from our town centres and high streets, and sadly, sometimes into more desperate measures. Mm. So these issues facing our town centres would be addressed by Labour's community policing guarantee. It includes scrapping the threshold brought in by the Tories in 2014 that prevents the prosecution of shoplifting under the value of £200, making it easier to take action against repeat offenders and ending the farce of offending going unpunished. It would create new specific standalone offence of violence against a shop worker, roll out town centre policing plans with guaranteed patrols of town centres, and put 13,000 extra police and community support officers back in town centres to crack down on antisocial behaviour. However, to conclude, Madam Deputy Speaker, like others have said, for this to happen, for action for our town centres to be safer, we need a Labour government. Yeah.